Hey everyone, we're backstage here with some Idol alums, a favorite of ours, mm -hmm. of course. It's Miss Janelle Arthur. How you doing, darling? Hey, I'm doing great. Yes, How you're back you? here at American Idol. Uh, so first and foremost, like, how did you feel about the new contestants? Was there anybody that stood out? And how did you feel about the show overall? It was so awesome to actually be in the live audience instead of sitting on my couch watching. I mean, <laughs> I really said I get more nervous watching them on my couch than I got tonight watching yeah. them. So I was so proud of all of them. I think they really made some great song choices. I enjoyed the duets. I loved yeah. hearing uh, Gene and CJ chime in on that harmony and I thought they just did such a great job yeah what, was there anybody I mean you don't have to say your favorite because I know it's always hard you don't yeah. want to pick a favorite or not but was there anybody that you're just like wow something about them tonight really impressed me I feel like I'm always impressed with Gina. I mean, I've, I've loved awesome. I've loved her from the very beginning, from her very first audition. Um, I love Sam. There's such a vulnerability about Sam. I, I love um, I love Caleb's confidence and his voice. I mean, like you know, yeah. I mean, his pitch is like ridiculous. I mean, yeah. he's just so on all the time, very consistent. Um, I love Alex. I think that he's so um, his artistry just always shines through. He's always original. Um, I I could go on and on and on. I love C J. I think C J. is so real and and. Down to earth and I feel like he deserves you know to, to go really far I mean, I'm, I'm like I'm just telling you everything about everybody that I well, I think and, and plus it's, it's such a different it's such a different season because your season it was like top girls like I, like it was like I think top five or top six were girls and this season's so different I and know. also like in your season like both you and Cree were country and then you had um, you know uh, Candace who won was was R&B and you had a couple other RB and then Angie was kind of but this season it's like you have like a rocker and you have like a country and you have like just different styles right. like a mesh up this year. Yeah, it's really interesting and I think that that's going to be a huge advantage to them going on the road too because every single person sort of has their own thing going and um, it's really it's really neat to watch. I love it. And I've been seeing on your Instagram and stuff, Grand, you know, the Grand Ole Opry. That's yeah. like that's like legendary for country artists, and I think you're going to be there again, right? I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm going to be there within the next few months, maybe. I've been playing there quite often, and awesome. I've been able to play four times so far within since the season ended. I mean, the Grand Ole Opry was my ultimate dream. It was yeah. what I mean. It was just that was it for me. I told my mom when I was four years old that I wanted to play the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah. So I mean, to be able to be on that stage that especially that many times, and uh, I just. Everything that's been going on has just, just been really crazy. I'm at Third Lindsley every Monday night singing with some awesome girls, and it, it's really fun. Really. Yeah, fun. and and where are you kind of like musically right now? Like, what's your inspirations? What are you? Do you want to like just be playing live right now? Is the goal? Is it maybe putting out an EP, an album? Like, where are you musically right now? Um, actually, I've been in the studio. I've been recording a lot of my new music, and I'm hoping to get some new music out very soon. I'm going to have a video up on Vivo.com for American Idol's artist series uh, going up on Monday. So. Oh, everyone, cool. everyone needs to check that out on Monday. It's a song called uh, What You Asked For. So I'm really excited about that. And I started writing that song before Idol. And then my friend and I got together, Dana Jorgensen. We started uh, fine-tuning everything and made it like an awesome, you know, just even better. And so really excited about it. And, yeah. Uh, you were number four, right? Fourth place? Yeah. Five. Well... Oh, never mind. I liked all the girls, so I can't say you should have been third, <laughs> second already. I, I feel like, honestly, your season, like, all top five girls could have, like, tied for first place. You girls were all awesome. Yeah. Um, is it so weird, like, surreal now? Because, I mean, we're not quite there yet this season, but you're starting to get there. I mean, is it surreal to kind of see where they're at and be like, wow, this was my life last year? Absolutely. I mean, the really crazy thing is I my first audition – for American Idol season 12 was uh, June 19th, 2012. And then I performed on the Grand Ole Opry exactly one year to the date wow. later, yeah. June, th uh, June 19th, 2013. And yeah. so it was like my life was completely different just in one year, exactly. Yeah. So it's just a crazy deal. And I I'm just so proud of these, you know, they, they seem to really be hand, handling the pressure really well. And they just need to keep focused. Like, the tour is going to be awesome. They're going to be doing so many more things just in one year's time. Have you been keeping up with all the different contestants your season? Is there anybody that, you know, I know it's hard because everybody's doing their own thing and everybody yeah. all over, but you've been able to keep up with them? And Believe it or not, like, we really still keep in touch oh quite a bit. We have a thread on uh, our iPhones that we all keep in touch. We all always texting each other. And believe it or not, I've been, like, I've been keeping in touch with a lot with Burnell and Lassie. Lazaro, and then of course the girls. So it's been really fun. And of course I see Cree because we're both in Nashville. Yes. So yeah. I miss you guys. You and Cree were, I don't want to say we're our favorites because we don't have favorites.
favorites because they're not allowed to, but you two were just always so sweet, so amazing girls. We loved you. I remember at the finale we got an interview with both of you together. I was like, cool. Uh, and then lastly, um, where can they keep up with you? What's the best social media place? I'm on Twitter. It's Janelle O. Arthur. And same on Instagram. And then my Facebook is www.facebook.com slash Janelle AI12. Uh, real quick, it's it's Wednesday, Woman Crush Wednesday. Who's your woman crush today? My woman crush, my woman crush is always Orianthe. I love her. Oh, yeah. Like I love Michael Orianthe. Michael Jackson's guitarist. Yeah, right? I saw her in the Michael Jackson This Is It movie, and I just like was like, that girl is awesome. Yeah. Like how is she real? Like, yeah. and I got to perform on stage with her last year. Yeah, I was like the too. only person that. who knew out of the contestants. I knew who she was, yeah. and I literally had a fangirl moment. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, can you be our woman crush Wednesday? Our whole outlet, we love you. Yeah. Is absolutely okay. any day. Janelle's our woman crush Wednesday. And make sure if you don't know Orianthe, she performed with Michael Jackson. She had this really good song. What was it? Um, the, the single. Um, you told. Uh, I, I know what you're talking about. Hold and on. I can't sing, so you don't want me to try. According to, to you. Yeah, according to you. Anyway, yeah. she's awesome. She performed at Idol. Yes. All right, well, it's so good to see you back. So see. Um, hopefully, uh, you're going to come back and, and maybe one more time in the season at least. I know LA is far and everything, but we. Miss yeah, you. no, it's far, but it was definitely worth it to come out here and see it you guys. It was. Absolutely. All right, Janelle Arthur, make sure you check her out. She's going to have this awesome video on American Idol's Vivo, so you got to check that out. And then she's going to be putting out her own music. And if you're out there at the Grand Ole Opry, make sure you get a ticket and check this girl out. Absolutely. Thank you so much, guys, for all your support. Love you.